Well, I, I think I think the situation in China could be just the opposite to many other places in the world because the Chinese people, especially among Chinese football and also sports fans, they have been so used to seeing overwhelming, much better performances by their female athletes in this country than the male ones. And there is no other team more disappointing than the Chinese men's soccer team over the past few decades. I, I think Chinese fans and Chinese audience and even the general public has been so used to you know, are reading about good news and positive things about the women, their women's representatives on the world stage than the men's. So there is, a, there has been for quite some time much louder voices comparing their global or international performances and arguing to pay much higher, uh, you know, salaries or wages to women's athletes than the men's, although in reality, in some corners, even in soccer's uh, domestic professional leagues, uh, the men's players wore for some time, paid much higher. But I think the situation is changing very fast. And, and I think, you know, because without the establishment of very, very commercialized and marketized the sports competing against one another in this market. I think things, situations are changing in China very quickly. And just last year, maybe Chinese men's domestic leagues was still worth more than a billion. And this year it could shrink to one million only. But women's soccer team can grow in, in terms of popularity because, you know, the social media on the uh, mobile internet uh, cyberspace has play, has been playing such a big role uh, trying to attracting uh, commercial uh, sponsorships and support for individuals and for teams. And I can tell that girls and I mean female users of the internet in China are much more active supporting their icons here. So I, I can assume that the FIFA wouldn't be surprised, uh, disappointed to see something developing even faster here.